I'm an Antipodean, as you know, from Australia, and I love politics. Uh, so for me, it's got to be Jacinda Ardern, the current Prime Minister of New Zealand. I think she embodies for me uh, extreme competence um, and ability to navigate a, a tricky political environment and also through crisis. I love her grit, um, but I also love her, her empathy. Having that package um, also in a female leader is, uh, is not something we see, see so often and certainly not a lot of examples in, in my uh, lifetime. So for me, she really embodies success and uh, I think is a really great role model for many people. It's personal, it's warm, it connects with people. And that's, that's how you get your message across at the end of the day. So I think she's very, very successful in doing that. And, uh, and it's a great example to apply in, uh, in other places as well. I've introduced a couple of changes since being in my role. Um, most of them are technology related, I would say, um, or, or legal operations, probably more broadly. The first one has been to automate a huge amount of legal documentation that the team was processing. And we actually partnered with, um, with a major law firm to do that project. Um, and it's a project that I'm really proud of because um, it started really um, challenging, but we pushed through. And the end result was just so rewarding. It saved us so much time. Um, and in fact, the pro one of the projects that we did um, won the top legal innovation award here in the Netherlands. So that's something I'm really proud of in the team. Other changes that we've had um, have been to um, better resource some of our more volume work. Um, and we've actually partnered with Cognia to do some of those projects, which has been it's been really great. Um, it's meant that our lawyers, these senior lawyers in the team, have been freed up to do work that they're really good at and really bring value to. And the support that Cogni has been able to provide completely remotely um, has helped us to uh, just refocus but still get the work done. Um, and the third thing I would mention is um, a, a very big project that we've also worked with Cogni on. Uh, which is our new contract lifecycle management tool. We're in the process of um, replacing our existing uh, CMS contract management system with a kind of more state-of-the-art customized. And um, Cogni has helped us a lot there, just consulting us through the process as well as doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Um, so those are probably three of the biggest initiatives um, since I've joined the team. Don't underestimate the amount of time and energy that you need to invest in these things, but also realise that the benefits, um, if you do that, are, are really quite, uh, quite profound. The more you put in, the more you get out. So you need to make time for it. You need to prioritise it. Um, I think a lot of lawyers... Um, into the kind of um, back burner bucket, something that you do when you've got time or you squeeze in around other things. But to get a really outstanding system or tool working that is, you know, customised as well, if that's what you need, um, requires a significant amount of, uh, of time and energy investment, but you get so much back for it. Um, the other lesson that I learned through the automation process is... Uh, Try not to start with your most complex project first. Uh, we did that and uh, learned the hard way that it's uh, it's easier to build and grow than to kind of start off uh, trying to reach the sky. So that would be my my tip for folks out there.